there are no words to describe the violation and powerlessness of having your cultural identity as a woman essentially sterilized. This terrifying experience left a void inside of me. I felt no longer a woman, and I am terrified of hospitals and doctors. I didn't say anything to anybody because I thought no one would believe me. I felt empty with my maternal instinct and God-given ability to bear life cut and ripped from me. These are just a few snapshots of the horrific stories shared by Indigenous women who were forced into sterilization against their will by hospital staff and social services workers. The woman told the Senate committee the sterilization was done without consultation or choice, usually just after they had given birth and were most vulnerable, with scars lasting a lifetime. Witness Morningstar Mercury told the committee countless Indigenous people have been subject to forced sterilization for generations. It is my opinion that we will never adequately be able to determine the numbers of women and men, girls and boys, that were sterilized in residential schools and in, in Indian hospitals. Senator Kim Pate said the story she heard meet the test for criminal prosecution. In this case, my uh, hearing of what you've described already violated criminal law. You were assaulted. You were sexually assaulted. It was also contrary to the medical codes of the doctors and nurses, the, all the medical professionals. It violated your human rights, and yet there's been no accountability. In 2021, Senate report recommended a House of Commons committee further study this issue with the goal of finding solutions to stop the practice. Fraser Needham, APTN National News, Ottawa.